Hey, hi. My name is Suresh Tripathi and I am Salesforce Consultant at Cloud and Logi. And with me, I, I also have Satak with me who is going to demo you about an app which is Auditorium Scoring App. So before going to the demo, let me tell you something about our company Cloud and Logi. So we are a Salesforce based company and we work in and around all type of Salesforce configuration and developments. We have a pretty decent team of 40 plus developers including 4 members of sales and 2 members of marketing. Altogether we have completed approximately more than 100 plus projects and we have knowledge around most of the languages used with Salesforce like Apex, JavaScript, jQuery, uh, Aura Lightning, Java etc. We have 6 plus products on App Exchange, and these are some of the reviews from our uh, Happy clients on App Exchange. So you can go to App Exchange and search for Cloud and Logi, and you can see the reviews there. So these are our insights. And now, uh, before wasting too much time, uh, I will hand over the mic to Sarthak, and he will go. He will going to give you the demo of the app. Thank you, Suraj. So let me first explain you the main objective of this app. Well, the client often struggle to maintain data quality within their CRM system. So uh, limited resources are often overstretched and cannot prioritize data management on the most important contacts and companies. So this app create a new entity within Salesforce that is linked to both accounts and contacts. At the heart of the application is a scoring model based on data audit criteria around the importance and completeness of the data. The scoring model works on the basis of each criteria for account and context scoring a single point. A threshold is then defined above which a record will become important which will trigger a data validation exercise. So if I talk about a few of the requirement of the client was we will have following objects like rule condition, rule expression and the data audit. So how it will work? Let me show you the demo. To access this app, we, uh, we have to first go to the rule condition object and we have to create the record for it. So here is our rule condition where we create a condition uh, from the pick list we will select any of the account uh, any of the uh, object since this app uh, work only for account and contact so this pick list is showing only these two uh, these two objects as soon as we select the object the field related to this object will be populated in uh, in this uh, pick list so uh, let's suppose we select billing state sometime it happens that a uh, client may want that the account should not have uh, their billing state empty so for this we can uh, select uh, we can define uh, condition like account we have selected the billing state field and on this as soon as we click on the checkbox it will help us to create a condition that says account billing state is not null we have to give the passing and failing score so that later the app can calculate according accordingly This is basically for uh, this section is basically for the object on which we want to create an uh, record uh, condition record. The next section shows us will display the parent of uh, of the uh, object which we have selected in the upper section. So it has two parents. One uh, one is user and second one is Dan B company. Let's suppose we have selected user. Same similarly, as soon as we select the 
parent object it's all will it's all the field will populated in here we select alias and here the operators operators how they are getting populated depending upon the type of the field which we select the operators get populated for the strings it will have the equals any matches any and contains any operators and for the uh, integer part it is for uh, greater than or less than it may include so this is how our operator will populate now if we want we can give the comparison value of our and this section will hold the, the list of all the child related to account now let's say let's suppose we have selected opportunity here our rule condition part is done now let uh, move on to the next configuration part is rule expression here we can combine number of conditions together to form a single expression here similarly we have to select the object for which we are we want to create rule expression and which type of condition we want here are three categories uh, by which we can categorize the condition which we have created in uh, earlier so completeness this will provide us the field which are uh, on the account object we can uh, select the logical operator which will exist between these two selected condition similarly we can do same process to create uh, rule expressions for the other two so after saving our rule expression let's go on configuration page here we will select the uh, condition expressions which we will want that needs to be evaluated as as per the batch run which we can uh, schedule or run manually or we want that as soon as our uh, record is entered in account of contact the evaluation part start we'll select account then here the the check on clicking this checkbox we can activate this uh, audit part uh, sorry this can this uh, this evaluation part i have selected that as soon as uh, our account will insert a trigger will fire and it will help to help us to get this code after uh, after all the expression which we select so the data audit is uh, this object is ready and this will only be executed to get the total score A record is created on the account and when we since at the backend the batch is uh, executing so it won't uh, we need to refresh to get our result the batch is executing so it will take a bit time to uh, load the result on this inline web page you can see that the list is populated here so it will it will give us the total score that this particular uh, account a record is getting because the condition which we have created that the billing city should not be null but this record has the billing city null and the user must have the alias of test and this uh, here the alias of this of the user is ca login so this is how the complete demo of this app so these are some of the features which we have built for uh, the company
for our clients. So please feel free to contact us for any development or customization work. We are happy to help you. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.